I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free to the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once. Good morning, world. The Bahama Rock here. Today I'm gonna be doing some service calls. I have a few systems that's not cooling. Uh, ride along with me for some helpful tips. I'm gonna show you guys a step by step how I come up with my diagnosis. And of course, we're gonna fix the problems. I don't shoot blanks, so the customer will be happy with some air today. Starting to warm up. Gotta get that system right for the summer. Summer is coming. So just follow along. I'll give you guys um, some step-by-step -step tips on what to look for. Um, you know, sometimes we all tend to start with the biggest problem first, but that's not always the case. And everybody thinks they need Freon. 90% <laughs> of the homes I go to, they think, oh, I need Freon, I need Freon. That's not the case. Sometimes it could be anything. Until I get there and um, assess the situation, then I'll be able to put a diagnosis on it, put my finger on it. Uh, just ride along with me. I have some helpful tips coming up shortly. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, your roll. Beautiful day in South Florida. Beautiful day out today. Gonna go get this lady some air. She is about almost 90 years old. And um, system is not coming on, so we're gonna go see what's going on. Okay, we have a five ton system here. Gonna start with the inside due to the fact that nothing is coming on. So if the inside was coming on and this wasn't coming on, we would start out here. But the fact that nothing at all is coming on, we're going to start inside. Obviously a problem with the inside. Okay, we're at the air handler right now. Five ton up in the attic. So we're going to open up the panel. No water in the pan. And this system does not have a inline float switch that will shut the system off due to any backup. It does have an in pan float switch that could also shut the system off right here if the water was to get too high. But as you could clearly see, there's no water right now, no standing water in the pan. So we could rule that out. A lot of times you would come to your system and it would be a float switch right here. And if it's backed up, it'll shut the whole system down. So in this case, that's not it. Completely dry. So this could not shut the system off. Let's open it up. visual inspection to make sure nothing is burn out no wires burn off gonna have to put my testers on it now okay so we're gonna check out the voltage the system operating on 240 volts let's make sure you got power to the system First things first, AC is not gonna come on <laughs> if you don't have power. So let's see what we got. We would touch the top of that breaker that's leading from the main. And what do we have? That's just feedback. That's not 240 volts. So the system has no power. 
which in my professional opinion tells me we have to go to the breaker box okay so we found a disconnect up here most systems have a disconnect this happened to be on the back side of the unit so before we go to the breaker box we need to see what's going on in this disconnect box um, I can see somebody been doing some shysty work up here in the past I don't like to talk about nobody I don't know what, what happened but let me get let me open it up but it is missing the breaker and somehow they're feeding to the unit so it doesn't have any pull out in there it's a disconnect box without a disconnect <laughs> so it's just straight feeding from the breaker downstairs to this and voila there you go your problem ladies and gentlemen if you can see it wires has melted together and it's touching see right there boom problem solved we're gonna have to change this disconnect box but for now just to get this lady she's 90 years old some air I'm gonna have to clip this and put it back together so it's not touching so I could cool her off while I go to Home Depot and get a disconnect box to change this okay you have a disconnect see why is burn up from years ago when they installed this they didn't have a breaker in here to shut the system down and this is dangerous could burn your house up gonna have to change this whole box I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my We have a 10K heater So we're gonna need a 60 amp disconnect box for that So we got our box mounted, the new one. We clean up these wires. So we will hit our two grounds right there. Feeding from the main breaker. We're gonna go to line, to outside line. Other two, inside load. And crank it up, see what we got. Okay, so we got that wrapped up. Two grounds. Two wires coming from your uh, breaker downstairs going to your line. Other two, the inside two is going to load, that's going to the unit. We're gonna close it up and turn the, turn the unit on, see what we got. Okay, so we just hit the breaker box, turn the breaker back on, 60 amp. That controls the heater, AC. Breaker is on. Okay, system is up and running. 60 amp, non-fusible disconnect box in the attic. That was the problem. Had some wires burn out in there. And like I said, if it's not getting 240 volts, the system will not come on. And it was a, a hazard, so it's fixed. Hope you guys had some um, helpful tips today. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're just leaving uh, Jupiter, Florida, headed to West Palm Beach right now to do another service call. Same thing, system is not coming on. We'll see what happens with that one. But this lady, she's happy. Like I was saying, she's about 90 years old, so she was burning up in there and she need to be comfortable, you know? She worked hard all her life. She's retired, she's elderly. So happy that I was able to help her out with that situation before they start a fire up in that attic so the tips that I'm trying to to you know empower people with knowledge is power so you know if I could help just one person then I achieved what I was trying to do so stay tuned for the next one and um, 
Just ride along with your boy. Going to be showing you a lot of stuff. Trust me, it's going to be interesting. Summer is coming. Going to have a lot going on. Installs. Yes, I am a duck mechanic. I am an installer. I am a service tech. A lot of guys in this field, you know, if they do service, that's what they do. You have installers, that's what they do. You have duck mechanics that don't do installs. So I'm, I'm well-rounded, well-versed in this thing. And um, actually, I got 20 years in. I'm a little over 20 years in in this thing here. So stay tuned. I'm going to be spitting a lot of knowledge at you guys. And quite sure somebody could put some money in their pocket from these good tips. Like a Mack truck, country heart. I'm a cop of farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm back up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, take it.